song called Brittany Crazy. Crazy! What's up, Nitro Gang? This is a Duratrax RTX 27, and today we're going to do a test run after a complete engine repair and rebuild running Bones Brew. I do have some tire shine on from a real car, that's right. Let me show you under the hood a little bit. By hood, I mean the entire body. You guys can check out exactly what I'm talking about. We have a twin vertical plate chassis, 0.27 Super Tiger engine. I have installed a pull starter from a different engine. Boss of the street, lord of the driveway, king of the cul-de-sac. No matter what the title, you'll be top dog in your neighborhood when you take on all covers with the RTX 27 Nitro Racing Truck. Nitro World Order. Nitro World Order. Let's fuel her up and try to run it. I'm going to keep the talking to a minimum in this video. This is just a preliminary first test run. See how my carburetor tuning settings are and see how the overall drivetrain actually is. This is not a speed run. I am not trying to kill my nitro. I am just trying to make sure that I have made another nitro great again. Radio check, stock steering, everything works, brakes work. We shouldn't have a problem, let's hope. Although you never know, sometimes there's still problems. Let's prime it. Okay, I see fuel in the fuel line. It should be good. Glow driver, pull starter, nitro's ready to fire. That's right, baby. Easy start. Tons of oil coming out already. Let's warm it up a little. So far, so good, guys. The idle is phenomenal. You can't kill that idol. All right, let's see what it's got, guys. Let's hope it doesn't shut down. Look at that. It's still idling, no problem. You can't kill a vintage nitro, what I say. Let's go. That's it to show, guys, all right? I'm not sure how the tune is right now. It looks like I have the soccer field all to myself. Sickening. Let's roll, soccer field. Just doing some small preliminary runs for now. Just to make sure my brakes are good. Okay, so the idle is a little too low. That means I gotta raise the idle set screw. Adjustments have been made, check this out. No turning off now, look for brakes. Very good idle, doesn't turn off. That's how you want it to run, guys. Still very rich. Richer than the Russia used to be. Yeah, you see how it's slow? That's because it's too rich, guys. But it's okay, we're gonna lean it out in a little. Sticking. Gonna leave it out, don't you worry. Right, already slightly better response. Already slightly better. Look at those shiny wheels. Also, the low speed is too rich. And we are almost out of fuel. Sickening. Let's add some nitro. You saw that run, I leaned it out a little bit, but it's too hard to do with the body on, so let's give it a little more here. On the high speed needle, we're gonna turn it right, okay? I did about a quarter of a turn, and I'm also going to lean out the low speed needle, which means turn this one on the side of the carburetor to the right. Okay, that should be okay. It's a lot of trial and error type of stuff, you know? This isn't like turning on a power switch on an Arma and then running it and then getting stripped diffs. This is a completely different experience. Cooling head is not even hot. 
sickening. By the way, great suspension on these chassis too. Right, all original, I didn't do anything. Look at that, nothing was done. Let me fire it up again with the new tune settings. The first shift, incredible. Two speed, baby. Oh, now that is a proper shift in two speed. I'm happy. Let's run it. Two speed, baby. Super solid. Two speed, baby. Tootsie baby, I'm point, I didn't even adjust it. Tootsie baby! Still needs a little more top end. Wow! Dura tracks! You can't kill it! Very straight too. It's a goal! Oh, lost my exhaust coupler. I gotta, I gotta take this. These things are super expensive, okay? Well, I guess we'll run it without the coupler now. Sickening. Great nitro right here. I'm very satisfied. I feel like I just had a whopper and didn't throw up after, which is very rare. Sickening. Tootsie, baby! Wow! We're out of fuel, guys. Out of fuel, out of fuel. It's gonna shut down. Okay, that was a self lean out. It shut down. Incredible, incredible run. The two speed did not piss me off the motor. I could easily touch it. I think that means. It wants to run much leaner. What do you think, guys? So these wheels have incredible traction. This is like the most optimal uh, pin style design, in my opinion. You know, buggies use this stuff for a reason. I'm talking about the pin style tires. Sickening nitro. You just can't kill it. I'm gonna let it cool a couple minutes, then I'm gonna fire it up again, do a couple onboard shots. These are not speed runs, keep in mind. Just a preliminary first run, two speed baby check. And Fuel her up. Don't call Brittany crazy. Fire her up, my dudes.
low it sits that this truck is built for speed from the get-go. It starts with this big block engine. It not only delivers massive horsepower, it also features two easy ways to fire it up. You can use the quick fit super start that's included or bump start it with most any starter box. And look at all these other performance goodies. The positive shift transmission is adjustable and has steel gears. The fuel tank is race legal and mounted low and comes with a fuel line clamp for safety. The shocks are aluminum with lots of mounting options and the dual composite brakes deliver reliable stopping power. Besides the three shoe racing clutch, this truck also comes with an adjustable slipper clutch as well as a CV drive shaft that reduces friction for more power. The bulkheads and bell cranks are strong and sturdy. The gears are all made of metal. Aluminum side plates protect the chassis components, just like this radio box protects onboard gear. And the aluminum roll bar not only adds security, but doubles as a handle for carrying. You get all this at a price that may surprise you. Get the RTX 27 and get into spirited sport racing. got a tragedy guys I think we have blown our engine now I just put the camera on top of the car and I was trying to do some speed runs but like I was giving it throttle all the way with the same consistent tune that I had before and it just wasn't moving it wasn't hitting those high rpms so off camera I came back I leaned out the high speed needle guess what almost no results as well I think we have lost compression going to pull the pull start it's very easy to pull it. There's still some compression, but you know, you're not supposed to be able to pull a 0.27 this easily. I think our engine is somehow dead. I don't know how the air filter was on. Everything was checked. The fuel system was properly cleaned. Fuel lines were clean. Everything was clean. I don't know what happened. It's possible this is just an old engine and something broke off internally. At this point, I am relatively devastated. I just lost my appetite for Taco Bell. And now I gotta go beat up some armor gang members. Anyway, guys, I'm just playing around. Maybe we'll take a look inside this engine in a different stream. We'll see what possibly went down. These are the classic signs of low compression. You can't hit that RPM, and basically you're just pissed off all the time. And I have those both symptoms going on. Thank you guys for watching. Don't worry. Since you really can't ever kill a nitro, this one will be resurrected. We did verify that it's awesome. I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. I tell you the truth, if the engine is dead, then it looks like it's dead. There's nothing to lie about. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, become a Patreon member, become a channel member, buy the Nitro Gang merchandise and help me keep making Nitro great again. See you later. Boom.